Good morning, grasshoppers. Where is our... Aha, leech us. Uh-oh. Hold the phone for one moment. I'm gonna have to use my backup. Well, I fixed this shortcut. Bishop g5. Now black is not in time to develop his bishop to f5 comfortably. Let's say c6, e3. Mm -hmm. You go oh. bishop 7 you go bishop d3. Did I have Tata Steel playing in the background? That's pretty funny. We will be watching Tata Steel if we get a chance. I have a lesson immediately afterwards, but I'm actually hoping to also get my Kosteniuk stream in for Lauren JW. After all, I prepared those. Prepared about a dozen games, 10 games at least. I've lost count. Morning, Lauren. <coughs> Good morning, Marat. Good morning, Apostolat. Good morning, Jeff. Eatenheimers. Took me a little longer. Hmm. While well, it's still there. All right. Absolutely. Nicely done, sir. But you're always going to be a top 100 player. What do you mean while it's still there? 
That's not so optimistic. Can't wait till the sun goes up just a little bit so it doesn't cut me off here. Let's see if I can lower I actually I cannot possibly lower it. Much more, unfortunately. I'm just gonna have to lean forward. Good morning, Pegasus. I should be able to click on it and see the top, the three check uh, top one hundred. Certain openings must be designed for three check. You'd take care of 99% of the people who don't know how to play three check, I think. Therefore, if you want to be a three check champion, study the games of Apostolat. Who do we have up? Can I get it to four? I can. I'd rather get it to three. We have Lauren JW in an unfortunate Bishop's Optic color endgame. I've seen her in this situation before. That looked purely like a defensive move, and now she's on the offense. G5. It's true, the opponent is not going to get anywhere. Now, how to, uh, how to accomplish anything? Could it be 2, F4, F3? This is like a dance. When you see one king move, the other king should move. Good morning, RJS. I am adding slowly the possibility of working on aim chest sponsorship. Marat, Spider-Man 26. I don't have my Spider-Man cup this morning, but cheers to you, sir. When you see me with a Spider-Man cup, it'll be light blue. And the Spider-Man figurine from Universal Studios Orlando. Uh-oh. I'm just happy my stream started. Had a warning from Streamlabs in the background. That was close. A legendary Rogan, indeed. Yes, both are playing in Magnus. Magnus, I don't know if I'm a Petco, now that I think about it. Conta de Luna, namaste. I'm tempted to call you by your first name. Am I allowed to do that? I kind of like your first name. All right, I believe that. That's all right, I understand. You're good, uh, Rogan. Well, I'm glad my sound is working. That was a good test. Let's control zero this lot. So at the moment, I'm using my Microsoft Edge because I made a shortcut yesterday to watch Vincent Kamer's games when he was playing Blitz. So I made a shortcut for Leech STV. 
and it renamed all of my leadchess.org, all of them. It renamed all of my leadchess.org shortcuts so that my Streamlabs did not recognize leadchess.org. Um, I believe it's just uh, below you, next to your right foot. Pick it up and let's get going, Lauren. Your confidence is right there. You're only as good as your next move. There's no such thing. Past performance is no guarantee of past performance is no guarantee of future success. If you look at my arch, let's see if I can show you my arch. There was a period of time where I really dipped. You may not be able to see it. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> A pasta lot. I'll get you right after this. I think I actually should do a happy dance around the room whenever that one is played. I don't know if anybody wants to see me twerking or anything like that. That would be pretty um, pretty bad content. Oh, Apostolette, you actually asked for a stretch. Oh, no. All right. On our stretch, we're putting away some books. <coughs> Hold on. We need to put Fisher's 60 memorable games back. I had to look it up yesterday when someone is calling 6H3 the Adams attack. I really take offense to that. It is not the Adams attack in my mind. It's possible that Adams made it popular, but Fisher was the first one to come up with a creative idea. Oiva, Max Oiva, I have to put him back. He's before Geller, before Fisher. There we go. And right after Marcel Duchamp. Right before Ruben Fine, right after Marcel Duchamp. Marcel Duchamp does have a biography of his game, by the way. I'm also going to put Karpov back. In honor of uh, Ace on Chess. How are you? Good morning. I have a brand new chair over here. In fact, I have a Spider-Man Marvel chair right over here. I'm going with Spider-Man all around. Karpa, where's Karawada? I don't know. Kasparov, Harris. Gotcha. Karpa. Right between Karyakit. Right between Karyakit and Kasparov on my player list. So if I could show my. Uh, all of them. I was really down in the dumps here. Let's see. Uh, Blitz 1990, for example. My rapid has always been pretty solid. So here my rapid is... But really, my rapid was... My rapid is slowly increasing over time. 22, 25. 22, 21. And then I took a dip recently. Not a big deal. The rating is like the weather. Goes up goes down doesn't matter honestly let's refresh this page i did see that you did not convert another position to uh lauren i don't know i think that it was popularized by michael adams and instead of calling it the english attack right 6f3 is the english attack they call it the Adams attack after Michael Adams. But Fisher played it first, and he played it very significantly. I was wrong. Uh, the games I had in mind, the three games where he did something different in 1967, when I mentioned that in that stream, I was totally out of line. <laughs> All right. Well, let's retool your emotions. Let's retool those emotions. Do you remember the scene of Matthew McConaughey in The Wolf of Wall Street? 
If you have not seen The Wolf of Wall Street, it's not a movie that appeals to everybody. But the wolf in The Wolf of Wall Street, he does a series of... Uh, and basically, there's a little bit of a mantra in that in that you have to believe in yourself. You're giving it all your heart. This is it. I've got this. Next game. It's mine. I'm going to do it. This is how we take it. Good moves only. Great concepts. Resourcefulness. Every time you perform. I will. The really great thing about this, do we have time? It looks like White is about to convert this endgame. No, that's not how you convert it. Okay, there you go. Just in the nick of time. Now we have to attack the knight, and it's all over. It is all over. It's a queen versus knight pawn. Bishop takes knight, b6, g1 equals queen, b7. Yep. Oh no! One more momentary awkwardness here. Can it still be one? Hold on. Bishop d1, b6. Yeah, we have a check. We have a skewer on g3. Jail and Amarado has a skewer on g3. Unless I'm looking at it from the wrong side of the board. I am. Oh no, there's a skewer on g6, dude. Oh, you're going to do it this way? That's fascinating. But now there's no skewer. Oh, but there is a hanging knight. I like the cleaner way, though. I really did. I like the cleaner way. I mean, that was pretty clean, too. But in reality, let's just say we move this. They move their knight back, right? Let's just say we move this, and even if they promote, we're always playing this move. Actually, you're always playing that move, so it doesn't really matter. I'm talking out my tuchus. Apostolette in the house. <laughs> you're glad you found a way at all. I'm with you, Paradel. Oh no, you redeemed a stretch as well and a hydrate. Hold on. Let's get the hydrate in. While we have a green actually we don't have the green share anymore. I have to switch everything to red with the new Marvel logo. Uh-oh. Noise gate. I'm going to cut the uh, music for a moment. I have a feeling that the speakers are contending with the noise. So this should be better. Oh, no, I blundered. C4 is the one move you can't play A5 against. Marat, posture check. Thank you so much. AKA Spider-Man 26. I was sort of, high, I was sort of uh, getting away from the posture check only because... Cheers, Marat. I need to be able to bother the knight on d3, on c3, if it ever goes there. Whew. Cheers. So now the noise gate 
should not be a problem. Sorry, Pegasus. Hopefully it's better. Queen to C2. Interesting. Is the knight going to be bothering me? Are you bothering me? All right, we'll treat it like anything else. See if we can get him to move the same pieces twice. Take over the center. Very classical approach. I have to admit, I'm extremely dogmatic. I am. I'm extremely dogmatic. Dogmatic. Now for something completely irrelevant. Listen to me. Yeah, I have to go for it. Herein lies the tale. I'll be careful. He has <coughs> removed me before. Good morning, Rotten Lemons. I think that Singapore is absolutely the most beautiful place. I've been seeing a lot of it lately. Ace on chess, are you still here? How are you doing, buddy? Ginka, good morning. There's another player that should be uh, practicing every single day. I haven't done Marat stretch yet. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know who's getting their pizzas out faster. But we will soon find out. coffee. All right, Murat, you are returning Spassky move by move and Lasker. Lasker is just after Larson and right before Levenfish. Spassky move by move. Where's Smyslov? Sakayev? Smyslov? <laughs> right before John Spielman? As opposed to Rudolf Spielman. Smyslov? Basky.
gotta clear my shelves today. I think I'm gonna get one very big basket. First things first. Second thing, second. And now for something completely irrelevant. Where's that queen going? He already knows I don't want to take his useless tower. But if I have to, if I have to, I will. Fine. And now for something relevant. Knight e4, F, E, D, E, Queen e4. It's not work out as well as I want it to. Hmm. So step our way up. Very solidly stepping our way up. Keep control of the open file. Relocate, relocate. So queen h3 was better. Queen h3, bishop takes f6, queen takes h2. Yeah, that was better. Bummer. This was part of the plan. Clearing a square for my knight. Clearing a square for my, clearing a diagonal for my queen. Absolutely. So here's the here's the one major drawback for the youngest of players because I truly don't know. I'm going to admit I truly don't know where your exact base of knowledge is. And because I don't know where your exact base of knowledge is, I'm not going to throw you into the deep end of the pool. That is the trick. That's why I said I in another message I hesitated on recommending the book Calculation by Agard. Because uh, calculation by Agard is the deep end of the pool. So therefore, I do not like to recommend books that have, let's just say, A more difficult comprehension level than needed. It's very, very serious, by the way, very serious. So he's getting back his exchange, but at what cost? 
That is the question. It's getting back the exchange. But at what cost? I don't think he wants the exchange, honestly. But he's getting it back whether he likes it or not. Whoa, time warning. I have to be very careful. at bishop c6 and bishop f6 taking my uh, stuff. Not a big fan of that. But I am planning on trying to sneak up on him another way. Yes, that way. I want it that way. Well, that was tricky. I still have to be careful about where I step, don't I? But I'm out of the uh, danger zone. Or am I? What happened there? My rook was hanging. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I have to give back the exchange as advertised. I'm about to demonstrate to Lauren that anyone can throw away a win. Anyone. But we have chances. We can pressure them in time. And the winner is... Hmm. Let's get Boggy in. Everyone is protected. <clears throat> no good discoveries.
So, leave this to me. We're going to have to demonstrate some real theoretical knowledge. Hey, cut that out. Zuxfall. Let's start with Zuxfall. Good stuff. Good stuff, great stuff. Still looks fall. Oh, bummer. That's a bummer. He might have earned his draw. Oh no! What was I thinking? He can take advantage of a pin. How simple is that? Did I have a choice here? Let me just move back for one moment. Did I have a choice here? I did not have a choice. That's crazy that I didn't have a choice. I can't believe I didn't have a choice here. This is the moment of truth. Huh. I can't allow D4 check, can I? And I allow this. Bummer. In case anyone is wondering, I don't have the ability to offer a draw. Oh, I do have ability to offer a draw. What's happening there? Maybe I have no draw offers before move 40. I have to check my settings. I don't think I have, a, I, I have draw offers turned off for a great percentage of the game. 79 Deshi, thank you so much. Who is our latest? Wait a minute, who pushed us to the all-time record? One second here. Conte de Luna renewed his subscription and he pushed us over. Thank you so much, Conte de Luna. Seventy nine was actually not a bad year. Seventy nine was the year of the election that enabled me to learn how to play chess. What do I play on my first move, Lauren? Lauren played that pretty well yesterday. Lauren, do you have the book, The Modernized Sicilian? The modernized Sicilian features so now herein lies the tale yes maybe I'm not supposed to take on e5 with my But we do have an imbalance. Ladies and gentlemen, the imbalance is real. The imbalance is official. Mm -hmm. I way to the danger zone. It does indeed look like it.
Where are you headed? Let's just keep up the activity here. We're going to take you right into the danger zone. Well, that was interesting. Totally unexpected. I feel like I have an advantage now. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good for the home team. It is much more important to study tactics, middle game, peace coordination, and games than it is to study openings every single day of the week. Oh, no, I'm so sorry, Roken. Fritz 18. I don't know why you'd need Fritz 18. First, you have to complete an entire volume of Capablanca's games. I repeat, you must complete an entire volume of Capablanca's games. So now, the moment of truth. Do I just keep developing? Is there danger? Knight to g7? I am, of course, worried. He does have rook g7. That much is through. That was a silly move, right? My queen is all tied down to the bishop. Mm -hmm. Maybe it wasn't so silly. Maybe it was not so silly at all. This is quite creative. We're actually having a little bit of fun here. Is what he's saying is true. Is what he's saying is true. We're going to have to live. Save your tears for another day.
Yes, we're going to have to save our tears for another day. That much is true. <laughs> oh my god fisher 60 memorable games amazing book absolutely absolutely amazing book can i go this way can i can i go this way i think i have to go this way 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 darn it can't make up my mind I'm definitely trying to save my tears for a rainy day. It definitely has enough on G2 to annoy the daylights out of me till kingdom come. So I can't move my knight. That much is true. So... He's got one more tactic up his sleeve. Oh, that wasn't it. Rook takes g2, rook to g1, check. Do I not have a choice here? I do not have a choice here. It should be noted that I did avoid the draw. At the cost of a piece, I misevaluated that position. I had to probably take the draw. I think I should have played queen f7 again and then found a better way to sacrifice in that position by bringing the second rook in. So now he has rook takes g3, h takes g3, queen takes. Where are you headed? Oh, he's mating me. I couldn't resign fast enough. <laughs> nice work. Cheers. Nice work. So when you play through the 60 Merle games, that book is way over your head a little bit. It's very enjoyable, though. But like I said, and this is my advice to Lauren as well, and anyone who wants to improve, basically play through the games one time and then play through the games a second time. You will see so much more the second time. This nation owes you a huge debt. Smansaran. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it. Good game, sir. I had to avoid the draw. I don't believe in draws. I believe in learning. There was a lot of compensation for me in that position. Let's take a quick peek since you're here. I'm so happy to have you. Where are you from? Forced me to page two. Ye gods, page two. Was that my first game? Oh, no, I drew the first game. 
Oh, yeah, I couldn't draw two games in a row. And he's Starlight is back. I'm so happy. Slovakia, one of my five favorite Yugos, former Yugoslavian countries. I am a huge fan of the former Republic of Yugoslavia's offshoots. We have my favorite people, unfortunately, not necessarily from Slovakia. Is that true? No, you're not from Slovakia. That's Czechoslovakia. Oh, my God. My geography. I am such an American. I am such an American. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Can you believe I did that? I'll throw in a plug for Chess and Foreman out of blood. Slovenia is what I thought you said. I can only apologize. A, Americans don't know geography. B, Americans don't know how to spell or use English properly. <laughs> That's why we're not English or a part of the Commonwealth nations. We don't know how to use English. <laughs> I know. Well, that's why uh, you've got me. I am 30 years. Uh, I am an American, and we have not updated our map, so I can only apologize. Namaste, Mansaran. I am still very appreciative. No, I did honestly think that he said Slovenia. In my mind, my mind went to Slovenia. which was Bled, which is not Belgrade. So yeah, I cannot take on e5, or can I? Do I have any moves here? Bishop c4 is the move. I didn't have enough courage to play bishop c4. But on the white side of this, we have Nigel Short, Nepomniachi. Not bad company to be in. Queen to d5 also occurred to me. I think that would be the move that I would normally play. Yeah. I would more than likely play Queen of D5. And then we have Bruzon Batista and a whole plethora of other Grandmasters here. But for whatever reason, I played this absolutely horrible move, which relegates me to the 2500 territory. And nobody ever castles in this position. Every single person plays D5, by the way. Oh, Alexi, your timing is terrible. I have a class right after this. But we could... No, I have a class tomorrow morning, too. Um, Alexi, I would absolutely love to do that. I'm going to refund you for now, though, because I can't do it. Marat, I'm giving you another one for your hydrate. Alexi, cheers. And you have a small advantage, honestly. I think you have a small advantage. Because of this ridiculous pawn that I have. Monstron. Yeah, now it's Czech Slovakia and Czechia. Thank you for the update. <laughs> So not unlike Yugoslavia being broken up into five countries. They, uh, fortunately, they didn't uh, break up Yugoslavia into you, go, sla, v, ya. <laughs> wow, castles was bad. Bishop C2 probably better. So now I'm just winning. What do I need to do to win this? Moment of truth, folks. Moment of truth. Bishop takes h7. Probably also wins. No? Knight to g5, queen to h5. Knight takes h7. No, it doesn't win. Oh, I don't want to see the answer. Queen h5, all good. 
G6, all good. Rook E7, all good. Knight C3, all good. Bishop E8 was the lame move, yes. And I should have agreed to the draw in this position. And then I went downhill. Nice work, sir. Oh, my, it is great to see you. What am I going to play as Black Lord? Nice. There you go. That is exactly how you do it. you got to be in it to win it. I was actually telling some of my students yesterday, the day before, that they need to play tournaments with accountability so that they can gauge themselves. Jeff Gold, good morning. How are you? I refunded you for the... Um, I refunded you, Alexi, because I have uh, classes right after this arena, right after this Swiss. So it won't happen today. Uh, tomorrow morning may be possible. I just realized that my, my Saturday-Sunday lesson has moved my Sunday lesson has moved to Monday at 10 a.m. This is a big decision, everyone. What do I play? No one's giving me any advice here. This is such a confusing position. 20 possible first moves, three minutes on the clock. I have time for a poll. We have to actually give, uh, you know what, Lauren. That is pretty amazing, I have to admit. I still can't get over it. That is pretty amazing, I have to admit. I still can't get over it. That was worth saying twice. <laughs> no. Uh, depending on where you are, I would adopt, Lauren, I would adopt the repertoire of the world champion that you are studying. Thank you, Jeff. Somebody stepped it up. There we go. I'm not going to ask for every move. It's just that I never know what to play on the first move. There's just too many choices. I've played all of the openings. I've played G6, C6. Uh, I have not really played B6 that much, but I've played A6. When I'm playing against a newer player, I usually go classical. I don't know my my real record with this fellow. I don't know Felme enough. Oh, this is so much fun. I don't even know where to begin. We'll start here. So Chess Informant 149 is almost on its way out. We really do have to do a stream for it, but I'm so far behind. So is there anything happening here? I should probably play G6, right? G6 probably would have been better against Bishop to B5. I don't need to weaken my D6 square at all. I will look that one up later, but I do believe that my next best move in that position should have probably been g6 on the seventh move. So, yeah, for Rotten Lemons, unfortunately, this is a this is quite a deep end of the pool. Rotten Lemons is playing, uh, is going over Fisher's 60 normal games, and everybody knows what that repertoire is, right? How straightforward is that? Fisher's 60 memorable games. You're playing the Nidorf, or the Sicilian is black. You're playing the King's Indian is black. And you're playing E4, and the Rui Lopez as white. It is not that difficult to build an opening repertoire when you are studying chess avidly. The hard part, though, is committing. I'm sorry, Alexi, but I did refund you. You should have your points back. I'm going to give Marat another another hydrate here in case he didn't get it, because I'm always worried about you guys spending points unnecessarily.
You know? Wow. So C5, G5, capture, 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 capture. E5, knight F5. MIA, MIO. MIA, MIO. My opponent doesn't have a white squared bishop, so let's start off here. I'm sure that my opponent is absolutely going to love the fact that he does not have a white squared bishop. Absolutely money penny. So am I not up material yet? Why not? So if he plays g5, takes d4. Takes f6, I take on e3. Takes on e7, I take on f2 with check. Does he have compensation? Yes. Does he have an exposed king? Even better. MIA, MIO. MIA, MIO. All right. We're going to continue earning visitation privileges for our pizzas. If he plays f3, g5 can be met by knight h5. <coughs> g5 can also be met by. 97, so it's okay to castle now. Not happy about my queen being tied down. But it is interesting. Save your tears for another day. Let's now bother the knight on b3. <clears throat> We've got a hole now. There's more than one hole, actually. I don't even know where to begin with all these holes. Let's start maneuvering toward the hole on a4. The hole on C4. The long diagonal. Well, that's interesting. I'll go this route. What's holding that up? Hmm. My opponent has a good point. Very, very good point. A rook is tied down to the A5 pawn. But his queen is tied down. His queen is tied down to the c4 pawn. And since the c4 pawn is there, we are opening up the short diagonal. Absolutely. Thank you, Mega Gamer. What? You had the worst competition in your life. I am back. Back again. Guess who's back? Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Yeehaw. I know it's an even exchange, but there's a lot going on here at the end of this. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, bum. Am I just winning a pawn out of the deal? 
or am I winning a pawn out of the deal? Checkers. I don't have a choice, but I do like my end game better than his. Let me just do some math here. I have 30 seconds on the clock. That's math I don't like. We'll go this way. Like Magnus Carlsen. I also appreciate getting these imbalances, gaining time on the clock, creating threats against my opponent's king, centralizing my pieces, laughing at the queen in the night. All right, B5. Wait a minute, when did that come in? I hope that did not come in. That came in at 9.06. All right, good. Timestamp saves me. That way I know how long I've been neglecting my own chat. You know what I mean? It is relatively key to not to neglect your own chat. It does get exciting. The excitement never ends. More where this come from. That one could be critical to, to playing a good game. That one could tax your playing ability. Belme. My apologies. My apologies. 28 players in this morning's arena. Cheers, everybody. Mega Gamer, can I play B4 instead of B5 to make up for it? Is that what you mean? Mega Gamer, you have to answer quick. Can I play B4 instead of B5 for your hero request? They determine the first move. Good luck, Lord. I had a request for B5, but I think B4 is the equivalent. Oh, no, she's been watching my stream, except that C4 is the antidote. You can't play C5, A5 after C, after C4, I don't believe. I don't think it's as good. So if there is a way to redeem this, this opening, I think C4 is the one. A4 also, I think, is the one against the A4. Standard, standard B4 Sokolsky tactics. Very simple strategic concept, trying to give up the wing pawn for a center pawn. Now we're 
we're going to carry it over to the birds opening. Because we've studied a lot, Lauren and I. We have a lot of these nice historical documents available to us. The hard part is making decisions on the coordination of our pieces. That is the trickiest part. That is the trickiest part. Knights before bishops. So far, so good. Now we, this is where not studying the opening pays off. Having a plan for the future coordination of your pieces. Now it is possible for me to screw up the coordination of my pieces, trust me. I screw up the coordination of my pieces on a regular basis. But I learn from it. The main difference between, let's just say, my daughters and many of my other students is that my daughters are perfectionists. They're almost too smart. Now we can start our migration. We're going to start our Lascarian migration. Nobody knew that was a word, the Lascarian migration. It will probably not be a word again. Um. Am I concerned? F5, D5 is hanging. She is extremely good positionally. I have to, I have to plug that hole now before it's too late. I am in trouble on the short diagonal, long diagonal, whatever diagonal you name it. I'm in trouble on them. But good news is we have a knight on the fifth rank. Woohoo! We have a knight on the fifth rank. And we are gaining time on our opponent. Now, do we allow him to play? Do we allow her to play e5? No, we grab the space. We grab the space like a good boy chick. There's no good way to sacrifice that. Unfortunately, there is no good way to sacrifice. We're getting there. We have now created more outpost squares because of the loss of the dark squared bishop. The d6 square, the c5 square. Very awkward. Our opponent has some conditions to make. Lucy. We have some concessions to make. This is a no fear zone, by the way. There is no fear in this dojo. Patience. Patience, grasshopper. C5 
So now, a knight on d6 is met by a movement of the f-pawn. That is always awkward. So let's just uh, attempt to continue to soften up the Joneses here. Something's wrong with this picture, folks. Is there something wrong with this picture? There is something very seriously wrong with this picture. I almost lost everything on that move. Did I lose almost everything on that move? That was crazy. So here, there, and everywhere. Knight h8. I do not have a choice in this matter. I'm really sad that my other rook is not on the F file. Did I have a choice? I did not have a choice. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. I thought rook c7 was actually better. Rook c7 and I have to stay on the knight. I can't move away from the knight. Can I take that way? They're sneaking in, darling. Maybe that was the move I should have played. Was that the move I should have played? Now your queen was on my knight on g5, so I couldn't play queen across his coordination that's all it is why is the rook on a8 why is the rook on e7 his coordination more master games rather than looking at parts of the game we have to look at the whole Uh-oh, there's a small problem in the calculation here. Small problem in the calculation. Will be. Lauren, what do you mean not a chance in the world? Hold on. What do you mean not a chance in the world? I wholly, I, I resemble that remark. Absolutely everything great for you. The peace coordinations problem began when you gave up the center, I think. I think that the, this is the this is the beginning of the peace coordination problem. Also, a five is pretty standard. I don't know that why you didn't have it in. No, no, somebody requested b four. That's not a typical master strategy. The typical master strategy here, I did mad quick chess in the house. Oh man. I've been watching so much poker lately. I watched Andrew Neem in a uh, Hustler Live Casino. Make sure you follow Mad Quick Chess because when he is on, there is no shortage of either chess information if he's doing chess or fitness 
sports, whatever he's choosing to do. Everyone here, he should get two follows out of you. I didn't hear I didn't hear those follows go through. <clears throat> I did not hear those follows go through. I didn't realize he was such a he brought it into the Texas Lodge poker room with Doug Polk. Nice. I forgot Doug Polk is also where you are, give or take a uh, give or take an area. This was a main line. Oh, but also that is a strategy if we don't know you. For example. <laughs> It is okay to suck, as long as you get your licks in. You just have to choose your um, moves more carefully and analyze your games and do what you can. Absolutely every step of the way. Oh, I'm sorry. They are Austin. For whatever moment there. Yeah, Brad Owen and uh, Andrew Neem, between the two of them, I like, uh, I like, actually, I like both of them. I like both of them better than Jeff Gross. Even though Jeff Gross has been to Society Billiards, and I believe Jeff Gross is good friends with the owner of Society Billiards on 21st. You hate your time, so... Well, we're gonna have to. And the, when the summer comes, Rogan, we will have. Uh, we will have a. I'll definitely be scheduling regular events for the other half of the day, six p.m. Yeah, and then giving up the fight for, and then. Yeah. Night to be six definitely did not do well. Why is this game not analyzed? This is my game, right? Okay, good. I just needed to refresh it. But yeah, my strategy was based on Lasker Bauer, by the way. I think the Lasker study is still there. I'm not sure. Oh, I see. There were two Lasker... Uh, commands in two different servers. One was to Alaska study, and the other one was to the Alaska quote. Well, I'm definitely not going to calc. I'm not going to trade down either. You're absolutely right that you needed to trade less space, but you also needed a five earlier. So at this moment, life is not easy to play. So you still need to break with a five. You still need to find a purpose for this bishop somehow, even if it means playing b6, bishop to b7 in here. But how are we going to get to the doing that? Such a tough call. By giving up the center, you brought in this... Uh... You were top fine if you took with the f-pawn? That's craziness. Hold on one moment here. So here, you did have me. My exchange sacrifice was not that correct. There's no way my exchange sacrifice was that correct. Absolutely, my exchange sacrifice was terrible. I should have retreated my knight, but I am not a retreating person. So what am I going to do here? I considered this. I considered that. Perhaps I should have played bishop takes g6. Bishop takes f5. Knight was hanging. No big deal. But here, I just want to see if bishop takes g6 was the right move here. That was the one I would have played. All right. I don't think I would have ever played knight f3 because I'm not into retreating moves. I do not regroup enough. I need to do some study. So here, yeah, rook c7. And what am I going to do about this? I was going to play e6, yes. And I get to escape this way. But I'm down the exchange. Tough call. 
I seem to have enough compensation for it. But barely. Barely, barely, barely do I have compensation for it. What? They even want me to trade? Oh, that's horrible. They even want me to trade. There you go. Oh, that is the best argument against flat earthers ever, Roken. If the earth were flat, we would have one time zone. So F takes is relatively okay. Wow. I'm only slightly better then. But yeah, this is uh, this was the regrouping. This was the key. I didn't want your knight moving anywhere. I was staying out of range of your knight by playing to F2. I was also keeping that one under wraps just in case anything. But the earlier one that you missed, I blundered and allowed knight takes E5 here. How bad of a blunder was that? Well, I'm not here. Here, here. Oh, so I didn't really blunder. This is not really a move. Never mind. I did not see it. In a hindsight, I saw it anyway. Didn't we play one before? Lauren? Where's your name? You played really, really well in the previous game. I was black. Played a classical Sicilian. You played the universal system, which I consider this the universal system. I'm a much bigger believer in bishop g5, which is the line recommended. I think bishop c4 is recommended by Kostya. Um... You're absolutely correct. I said that uh, you would have less experience because Tarash... I wouldn't say that Tarash didn't know it. That's a little bit out of context. But I said Tarash didn't have enough or had less experience with the modern Sicilians. So therefore, I chose, this, I chose the classical because Tarash would have had less. The Paulson Sicilians, by the way, the Louis Louis Paulson and the Con Sicilians were actually not so bad. <laughs> uh, you are definitely earning it. Oh yeah, and I remember this. The Queen to D two. And I played Knight takes E four question mark. Alright. Meanwhile, You have a game with Stefano. And I have a game with Annie Starlight from the boys. I am such a fan. I am one of her biggest fans. I want an autograph, Annie, right after this is over. Consider me, you can call me Huey. You can call me Huey. All right, we're sticking with it. By the way, we're sticking with it because um, it was called out earlier. We're sticking with the modern Sicilian. Uh-oh, Annie Starlight? What are you doing? This is not a good move on the second move. I repeat, this is not a good move on the second move. If, hold on here, I'm trying to go back in time. If you play knight f3, and black plays d6, bishop c4 is all the rage because the d-pawn has been committed. But after bishop c4, I'm willing to switch my gears. The boys, baby, the boys. The humor in that particular uh, episode, by the way. The humor in that episode.
I have knights before bishops. I don't know if I have a choice here. So now how do we go after the, the pawn? Can we go after the pawn? Do I need to go after the pawn? Or do I just acknowledge having the better development? And now for something completely different. Save your... Let's just uh, shift gears a smidge. I just need a square to put my bishop on, my white squared bishop. One of the main drawbacks to the e6 and a6 Sicilians is that you have to be very mindful of how you go about connecting your Sicilians, connecting your uh, connecting your queen side rook to the main part of the game. So, I am waiting for one more critical strategic error. I actually streamed an episode of The Boys on a for whatever reason determination mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. grit fire On our way. Depending on where that bishop goes. Do I need to do this? I don't know. We're just going to play our tears for a rainy day. So where is that knight going? And what does it all mean? Is the knight going to e4? I don't know. I, li I kind of like the bishop, though. I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. This is not a very good uh, plan for peace coordination, by the way. Not a very good plan for peace coordination at all. Just saying. I'm just saying that this is not a very good plan for peace coordination. Save your <laughs> I'm very happy to have you improving in our stream because everyone here is trying to become better at chess. That is the one great thing about the name Dojo is that when you come, you come to make something of yourself. You come to prove something that had not been previously proven.
No, I'm never really threatening, uh, I'm never really threatening Queen C6, am I? I guess I am. Queen E4 is met by D takes E4 and I take a free pawn on E5, or do I? It's not such a free pawn on E5, because I have to deal with Bishop F4, then D6. And it just gets a little, uh, a little deep. And one of the secrets to calculation is that we don't... This isn't knitting class. <laughs> oh, no. You did not drop under 1900. Let's rephrase that. I know, you do play better chess, dude. Do you remember when we first started, Mom? It was craziness. All right, we'll take a pawn. I will take a pawn. What kind of pawn? I do not know. But I will take a pawn. It's too bad that I've moved my queenside rook. This would be a great time to castle. My knight is trapped. I cannot possibly hope for him to open up the H file. I mean the G file. Or her. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right? Nobody would ever open up the G file, yeah? Well, so much for that idea. Queen takes g7. Was going to be met by. Knight takes e1. I think I've played this game before against one of my students, now that I think about it. I have definitely played this game before. The whole bishop c4 variation, the whole theme with knight e7, g6, the whole theme, the whole kit and caboodles. Yes. Oh, it's so sad that I have to do this. I wanted to play Knight H. But I really like my... I really like my bishop. I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. Now for something completely irrelevant. Am I winning? Hold on, let's do a quick damage check here. Quick damage check. Ah. <sighs> Two bishops. I have seven pawns to six pawns. Is this a winning endgame? The bishop is horrible. The rook can come to the seventh rank. It is a wee bit awkward in many cases. I think the only way that my opponent can win this
Okay, pasta. Wow. Taking advantage of the pin, who would have known? It's a bummer. Uh, you can get an OEM laptop charger. Mm -hmm. I don't know what my opponent is doing. First things first. Eviction notice time. Second things second. Do I get my rook in the game? Let's find out if I get my rook in the game. I would like to avoid bishops of opposite colors, though. So let us do that. We're going to keep attacking unprotected items. My knight is a little bit on vacation. I admit it. I do need the A file for my rook, though. I need the A file for my rook. So now I'm officially up a piece. Let's go this way. Um. Don't do that. Don't even think about it. Indeed, do not even think about it. So takes, takes. Oh yes, I forgot. We're supposed to be up a bishop. Mm-hmm. What could my opponent be up to? 
I still want that autograph, Annie. To Huey. Annie Starlight, one of my favorite names of all time. Not another stretch. Is that true? I need to expand my notification window. That's what I need. Here a request I did before. I hope that was okay. Four minutes ago, another stretch. I'm running out of books to put away. Actually, I have plenty of books to put away. All right, Ron. I need to know how to handle this opening. Conte de Luna has been beating the daylights out of me. Posture check. Murat. Murat, stop wasting your points, man. I appreciate the posture check, though. You can always say something, and I will always no, respond. Oh, no. Did we make it to 80? Oh, my God. Namaste, Pegasus. Namaste, Ezrin, Alexander Alakine, Milky Decket, Ezimones. So GM Crumb, definitely we know. I know Alexander. Al I know who Alexander Alakine is. If not, I'm going to continue on my merry way. Reunion match between PCA. Oh, I forgot about that. Brain Games Classical. So you want the Topolov Kramnik match? Okay. I'm glad I said it before you did it. All right. No, I actually, I would actually enjoy doing that. You gods. You guys are keeping me working. I enjoy it. You're keeping me working. Um, Topolov Kramnik. I must write this down now. I do not want to forget it. My memory does get spotty in my old age. Three hour stream. Three hour stream. I think the six hours is actually just a bit too much. Yeah, I need to do the six hours in two parts. And that is for Ron Hay. Or Pegasus, however you look at it. I need to start organizing these. Now, should I try to see if H3 is good? No, let's not do that. Save your tears for a rainy day. That is my weekend alarm, by the way. You love what I've done here? What have I done here? <laughs> Namaste, Pegasus. There's a reason why he is a VIP. He is absolutely, absolutely a VIP. So is he getting in what I think he's getting in. So he's never allowing me to put my knight. Oh, sorry. Aw. Thank you, Lauren. This is that community club dojo experience that I am very... No, no, I got it. I just have to make my window bigger. I have a, I have a massive screen over here, so I tend to put many things on it. I just need to make it bigger. I also wanted to see if I could increase the size of my font. I believe that I can. Because I want to be able to read it from across the room. Set font size. I do not have a choice here. I'm not sure what Ron is doing. Ron is not following the standard protocols. Concerning attacking 
and the pendant. All right, it is time for me. Oh, and uh, Lauren, I just want to note, I play all of the openings, so you can't take it personally. I literally do play all of the openings against all players. Uh, the new overlay is coming along well, by the way. I, I have this um, chart that I like to do in my head, which may or may not be useful. And I basically have to decide, let's say I, I need three things that I want to accomplish. I want to give the sponsors a little bit better a location concerning the board. So I'm probably going to move the sponsors down right above the board. Like they should be adorning the board all the way across, not having space. The subject line should be bigger than the date. <coughs> the date is way too large, so I need the spacing to be corrected. On that note, I don't know why my bishop is on the F-file. Why is my bishop on the F-file? Can somebody tell me that? Why is my bishop? Mm -hmm. I need a better. Oh, I need to do it to save your tears for a rainy day. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to continue our migration, just like we announced to Lauren before. Yes, they were ready for that. I hung a pawn. Bishop takes e3 check. Right? I made one fast move, and I hung a pawn. Bishop takes e3 check. I mean, it's, it's really great. I know, right? We are a global chess club. What's going on here? Can I? My pieces are no longer coordinated. Do not be alarmed. No pawns were harmed in the coordinating of my pieces. That's right. Any other good movies, anyone? I was trying to watch the second Matrix again yesterday, which was Revolutions. And I was having a tough time getting back into it. I like the original so much better. All right, Murtarda, I have not done your first stretch, dude. I have only done your posture check. I might need to refund you, buddy. He's got like three stretches. Don't make me do it. So what is going on here, folks? Are they threatening H5? Yes, indeedy, Bob. I did say that, by the way. Yes, indeedy, Bob. That was really, like, lame. Totally lame. Oh, you think your Tojo time ticks are finished? Ha! Ah! I got your Tojo time ticks right here. 
check in a moment. Now, we're going to start expanding on that side of the board. So what can one do to improve one's piece coordination? Well, good thing you asked. I didn't really want to take this way. I did not want to take this way. But where are you going? What does it all mean? making sure I move so fast it's ridiculous you know like I have to stop moving quickly literally 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 I have to stop moving quickly fine so simple laws of attack and defense escape no one Que pasa? Is that it? My whole world is going down to a back rank mate. Is that really it? I don't know. Let's offer, let's offer some peace. Peace. Still try to offer peace. I'm still trying to offer pizza. <laughs> oh, I must go. Thank you for that nudge. I was enjoying myself so much in that game. Absolutely enjoying myself. Ron, Pe Pegasus, thank you so much. Cheers, everyone. No, I really do appreciate it. I was back. I was in my normal routine. I really was. And meeting... Uh, I need a link. Hmm. How do I find the link, Sophia? In any event, while she connects me in the calendar with the link, I am going to send everyone to one of my favorite, favorite streamers. I am refunding you, by the way, because I didn't get a chance, Marat. I'm absolutely refunding you. I would love to just send you to Blitz. To... Is 
anyone watching Tata Steel? Yes, that's perfect. All right. Please enjoy the commentary. Thank you. I'm looking around. Oh, Sverge. That's in Swedish. Ivanchuk. We did have Ivanchuk as an option. But I have to do this quickly. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. Namaste. Cheers. Thank you, Lauren. All the best to you. Talk to you soon. Please sure you join the Discord for stream announcements, especially the stream announcements with the instruction. And follow me on my socials. Follow on the socials. I will definitely be doing it there. Cheers. Must go. My WhatsApp is loading.